When I was starting out in the learning and development field, people would ask me what I do. My first answer would always be training. But I knew that wasn't the whole story. The more I learned about my job, the more I realized I was right. In this lesson, we'll define what learning and development is and what are the main responsibilities. It's easy to define roles we come across every day. A doctor heals, a lawyer gives legal counsel, a pilot flies planes. But L&D isn't as straightforward because when we do our job well, we can be practically invisible. So let's break it down then. The main function of learning and development is to impact the organizational and individual learning for the purpose of improving effectiveness and performance. Very simply put, L&D is responsible for any activities that would facilitate learning and, in particular, change the behaviors and attitudes, skills, knowledge, and understanding. This can happen on many different levels, from the entire organization down to a single department, a team, or even an individual. When we say learning, this can mean a number of things. From the trainings, which you're sure to be familiar with, to coaching and mentoring, creating personal development plans, supporting the performance and talent management efforts, to creating and curating learning content in the form of articles, blog posts, videos, e-learning courses, and many, many others. The purpose of L&D, in a way, informs what the main responsibilities are. We need to ensure the organization and the individuals within are learning. And this in itself raises three key questions. What do people need to learn? What's the best way for them to learn? And how will we know that they have learned it? In effect, these three questions are the defining milestones for any L&D department. It tells us that we need to analyze the learning needs of the organization, select the most appropriate learning methods, and then measure the impact of our activities on the performance of the learners. Here's a typical situation. At the beginning of the year, each business unit sets goals that are based on the strategic plans and vision for the company. For example, if the organization wants to deliver high quality services, one of the goals could be to implement three quality control checks to ensure customer satisfaction scores of 85%. Now, we know that the role of L&D is to find out what are the learning needs for this business unit, select the most appropriate learning methods, and measure the impact from these activities. So how would you answer these three key questions? Let me know in the comments below. And there you have it, a clear definition of L&D and the main responsibilities. If you enjoy this, please like and subscribe for more content like this. See you next time.